So Paul is going in right now to the hospital. I did lose a lot of weight out of nowhere. we just had the funniest thing happen so there's this person coming into the neighborhood and there's a squirrel under their car trying to run away like oh there's a car let me get out of the way the person actually knew the squirrel was there so they were going like very slow and we see the little squirrel just like freaking out and it's like what is going on but the funny thing is just what me and Paul did we, we stopped just the car and watched we, we didn't do anything she was going really slow the squirrel didn't get hurt moral of the story he's okay He's now up his little tree. But we were just laughing at each other because we were just like, we just, we, we just stopped the car to watch this episode and I looked at Paul, what were you hoping to happen? He's like, like, I just wanted the squirrel to live. Wow, that was a really productive tel telenovela moment right there, honestly. So today is a very busy day, guys. You have no idea, like, and it's exhausting. I'm just so sleepy right now, but we gotta push through and keep moving forward and get things done we have an early start thankfully yes but uh, we, do. we are going to be busy up until the afternoon so for today we are going to my pcp's appointment and doing a physical they really wanted me to do a physical i can't honestly remember the last time i've done one when i think of physicals i think of the ones in like that you do in school like i don't know if people on the other side of the world here in the united states we do physicals in our gym class. Oh, I, I don't know why. So that was the last time I feel like I've done it. So we're gonna go do that, nerve wracking. Then afterwards, I have to do more blood work for my endocrinologist. My endocrinologist is on top of me and my health during this pregnancy. I see her probably like once a month, which is a lot. So she wants me to do some more blood work. Some of the blood work I did previously came back normal so she wants me to repeat it see what's going on because back in 2018 I did lose a lot of weight out of nowhere I really um, had a bad appetite so we believe there I have episodes pretty bad flare-ups and uh, we got to get to the bottom of it like why and of course during pregnancy it has not gotten worse thankfully so for some of you guys to understand my hyperthyroidism we believe came before pregnancy if anything probably in the beginning in my first trimester it was really bad now i'm doing decent and good and i'm very proud that we kind of have this under control finally after how many years now the endocrinologist did say that it can happen in some pregnant women that when you first become pregnant this is exacerbated and it literally just like everything is thrown at you with you know your thyroid problem but then over time it can either continue and you need medication or it kind of goes away after you've taken medication for a short time so thankfully it is completely under control yes guys you have no idea trying to look for answers for the longest time we never understood why i had such a huge weight episode loss back in 2018 and now it's starting to make sense and imagine i have been advocating fighting saying there is something wrong and you know a lot of doctors are like well go to your gyno it's probably your gynecologist's area it's probably your you know reproductive system of some sort and your menstrual cycle yeah i don't know how many times i've been told because of me losing so much weight it was probably because of my menstrual cycle and i'm just like shouldn't i be like gobbling up food during my time in the month chocolate all the fatty stuff i'm like i stay away from food even more Guys, do not forget to check in the link below of the description for our Amazon baby registry. Absolutely nothing is required, but everything is greatly, greatly appreciated. This is a new journey that me and Janice are embarking on in life, and we are super excited, super scared a little bit. Just, just but um yeah no thank you guys so much for all the love and support the first 50 people who will actually send us a gift from our registry we will send you a small token of our appreciation back just to say thank you and again the actual item that we will be sending back to you is 
from a design from our merch store, but the actual item will never be released on our merch store itself. So exclusively just for us to say thank you. As you can tell, the bestest boy must stay on guard for his mama at all times. So guys, we're here in the back now. The nurse checked this in, did everything. All right, gonna find a comfy spot. Babe, how do you feel? I don't know, I don't know what to expect, so I don't really feel much. She's gonna come in here, take it all off. And we are done with our appointment. <laughs> We're just getting some paperwork done, planning for our next appointment to get that done did. I love how this office has like some goodies over there. Now we are going to go after this to get some blood work. Paul, what are we doing? Hello, how can I help you? McDonald's. Hello, can I get a number five, please? A number it. five? Yes. I'm hungry. Medium or large, and what's the drink? And can the drink be the frozen Coke? I have an addiction. Yes, please. Guys, oh my god, I'm addicted. Like, I barely have Mickey D's before yeah, pregnancy. Honestly. And now pregnancy, it's like... It's a craving. Yeah, with some nice fries, with an icy frozen Coke. I'm addicted to ices. This baby is addicted to ices. I didn't think this addiction would get this bad. Seriously? In the, before pregnancy, I would have like maybe a Slurpee once a week, which is still a lot. Now it's every day. Well, I think they uh, overfilled this a little too much. Alright All right. guys. I don't like people touching my card and the thing and McDonald's has the thing where they can pass you the terminal but um, the workers don't know that that's called a terminal. So I tell them here can you pass me the terminal and they just look at me like what? What? I was like the, the credit card machine. Oh yeah here you go. Oh, hot. Hey Mickey D you got some hot fries. Mm, hot. Well guys let us eat before going to the hospital for blood work. So guys, while Janice enjoys her McDonald's and Icy, do not forget guys to also check out our Instagram and Patreon. Instagram so you can see Orion's service dog journey from when he was a wee little pup. We always do some cute fun photos on there as well as our Patreon. Patreon is another platform of social media that we use and we give exclusive behind the scenes content on us, the Raw Life family. So typically Patreons are the first ones to know anything that comes out on social media they are the first ones to know in advance we also offer one-on-one -on -one skype sessions with us the raw life family so if that's something you guys are interested in check the link in the description below so guys we have left the doctor's office um i think it went fairly well um jenny's got a physical done so just overall checking her body her health just you know lightly it's, it's not like a gym physical no i don't know why you thought that was but <laughs> I don't know, because physical, okay. whatever. Yeah, it's it's a quick, simple thing, and uh, thankfully, there's nothing big, nothing wrong. It felt um, like a normal appointment, honestly. Physician assistant, she sent over some um, updated blood work for Janice to do, so thankfully, we're going to go do that right now after Janice is done with her nuggies and fries and frozen Coke. Meal. So far, so bueno. The doctor, now we did talk a little bit about getting Janice's port and her port supplies and infusions and stuff. And she is going to talk to the doctor who is an internist and see what plan they come up with, a, you know, plan of action to see how they can proceed and help Janice and, you know, get everything that we need. Alrighty, guys. So Paul is going in right now to the hospital. I know that sounds weird. We get our blood work. Well, we get my blood work done at the hospital. Just because those labs that aren't in the hospital will not draw my blood out from my port. It is a liability. They, they're not comfortable with it. And that's perfectly fine. Like, I'm totally okay with it. Here in the hospital, they give me all the vials. They give me everything that I need. And they're much more understanding and easier to deal with. So, we, we just come here and do that here quickly. So, guys, we have officially gotten the blood work here. Paul did an amazing job. I have one two three four vials to fill paul what happened when you asked for these vials thankfully today the lab was actually pretty empty there's only two other people there again i don't have to wait in line because i'm we're not drying her blood out you know what i mean so the lady was like i got you don't worry about it she scanned copied everything in gave me the vials gave me the bottle you're good 
Yeah, like she's like, just bring it back. She knows us. She's like, I, I don't see there's a big deal. There's you guys know how to do it. You've been doing it for years. There's no reason to fight you on it. Exactly, which I love. I love not too much of a pushback. So what I like to do is get a couple flushes. You know, maybe yeah. like about four. Okay, let me close this. We have the adapter here. Look at that. And we're gonna do this quick and simple and easy. Half from. Alcohol. Yes, she gave us a couple, but I was like, we got plenty. Done. What did you guys think? Quick, simple, and somewhat easy for me. Somewhat, we're, we're pros at this. So in here I have blood, lab orders, everything is in here perfectly. So now what I'm gonna do is go back up and drop it off and that's it. Thank you. Yeah, the adapter and the blood thing are still there. Okay. okay. Because those, still, those have your blood, I don't want to throw those in the trash. Well guys, I am done. Look at, look, look at my blood. Doesn't my blood look beautiful? AK, if you're squirming or on blood, please look away at this part. I don't know. I find my blood entertaining when I do. Woo, 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 woo. Isn't that so weird and cool? Yeah, like. Now, of course, you may be wondering, what are you going to do with that? Well, I am, um, of course, going to take it home. This is waste, and we're going to put it back into my Sharps container. Because, guys, this is my blood. You know, you always got to be careful with your blood. You know, you never want somebody to tamper with it, touch it, you know. Y you just never know. My mom tells me, you don't want to leave your blood around because vampires are going to come and drink it. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that, guys. Anyway, so that is what we're going to do. Now, crazy thing I just learned. Uh, of course I am pregnant and they tell you, you got to know your blood type just in case. And guys oh my goodness my blood type I, I have never known of it for the longest time I've asked my mom she didn't remember so it like we just like brushed it off until I found out yeah I am like O negative or O positive so I looked at my mom and I was like <laughs> you should have told me you should have known because what if something were to happen those are very rare blood types woman and she's just like, I remember when I told her and asked her, she's just like, it's not a big deal. You probably have like the one everybody has, AB. Because she's just like, you can't have my blood type because she's also blood type O. Because she's like, it is so hard to transfer into your children. Well, guess what? I got her blood type, dang it. <laughs> and I told her and I was like, you should have told me with all my medical health issues and whatnot. I'm like, we always got to know my blood type. And yeah, when I found out because of this pregnancy, of course, they're going to find out for you. I was just like, what? Dang it. I need a donor. So uh, I already told my mom she will always be on call. And I'm like, I need your blood, woman. <laughs> like, why do I find playing with my blood so entertaining? This is so weird. Like, of course, I'm not going like, to drink it or anything. I don't know. I just, just, I just mess around with it. All right, guys, so Paul is back in the car. Yep, yep, yep. How was that dropping off my blood work? It was good. She made fun of my small handwriting. I was like, I had to learn how to rewrite in my life. I broke my arm. She goes, oh, crap, I feel bad now. It looks good. <laughs> I would have been like, don't worry, boo. I, I tell him that all the time. Paul's yeah. handwriting is atrocious. It's not atrocious. It's very small. Atrocious. Anyway, guys, so I think this is where we end it. I definitely want to let it be known, guys, that we are very responsible when it comes down to my blow, uh, the, 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 the blood, blood work. And I do get a lot of comments when I do things like this and show off what I'm doing with my port that people are telling me I'm doing it wrong. How dare I do it that way? How can anybody let me do it that way? Oh my gosh, you're going to get sepsis, guys. 
It has the been, proof is in the pudding. It has literally been years yeah. of us doing blood work this way. Um, the insurance company pays for it each and every time. The um, hospital is perfectly fine with it. The, like I said, the nurse or the, uh, the phlebotomist at the lab goes, if you know how to do it, you've never had a problem with it. Insurance keeps paying for it. She's like, I don't see a problem or to fight back with you on it. It's, uh, you do it or I do it. She's like, if the lab accepts it, everything is done good, you've never had an issue, there's no problem to kick it back. Exactly. Know? So guys, trust me, I have my medical team on board for me to do this kind of stuff. I have been watched thoroughly. You I have, have gone trained. through training for all this. And that is why I've been able to keep my port for such a long time. With no issues, no infections, literally zero problems. So you. I'm very proud. And your mean comments aren't getting to me because I know I'm doing good, boo boo. And the way how we do it is identical to how our home health nurse would come to our home and actually draw the blood out. So we use the same materials, same adapters, same everything. Everything is identical. This is the way how we have been trained. You can't make this stuff up. Like we had to be shown, mm -hmm. and this is how we were shown by a nurse who has been, who was a nurse for like 35 years. And I trust my home health nurse with my life. Yeah. And honestly. that is my biggest advice to any of you guys who are trying to do their own port care or even have a port. You want to have a nurse or your home health nurse to be your ride or die. I mean, you have to be able to trust your life in their hands. Uh -huh. And I've gone to like, I've gone through two or three nurses until I found the right one. Alrighty guys, so let us end it because I brought one battery and my camera is about to die, but we got everything done that we needed to do and I'm very proud. So guys, for now, adieu and good night or goodbye.